Hello everyone, I know the video is very late and I'm extremely sorry about it, so let's move on. Top 10 romantic comedies that you should glance at. Number 10, It Happened One Night. Starring Clark Gable, whom you might know from the insanely famous Con with the Wind, and Claudette Colbert from It's a Wonderful World comes a classic story of an uptight, spoiled princess who ran away from her father to meet her husband but stumbles into rough around the ages reporter Peter played perfectly by Clark Gable himself, who blackmails her into giving him her exclusive story, and thus the romance and comedy ensues. It just so happens to be the first of only three films to ever win all the five major Academy Awards. Number 9. Roman Holiday Starring Gregory Peck and always so wonderful Audrey Hepburn, comes a similar classic tale which you might have heard about. Anne, a princess frustrated with burden of her royal responsibilities and tightly packed schedule, decides to run away from her embassy during a foreign visit, only to stumble into, again, a reporter who is unknown of her identity at first but decides to woo her into giving him an interview after the realization. As such ensues the gorgeous imagery along with a healthy dose of romance and comedy. Number 8. Groundhog Day Starring always lovable Bill Murray as an extremely sarcastic and a, and a bit of Davy Downer, reporter slash weatherman Phil Connors, who is forced to cover the Groundhog Day event, finds himself in quite a bit of situation when he realizes that he has been stuck in a time loop, as in he keeps on living the same 24 hours, same Groundhog Day again and again, not knowing what caused it to begin with. With numerous movies inspired by similar ideas, with most recently Palm Springs being one of the more, I guess, palatable one and I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't watched it by the way. Number 7. 10 Things I Hate About You There are only a handful of good Shakespeare adaptations, mostly by Kurosawa, some by Bissal Vardwaz, and one of the few good ones is the 1999 adaptation of Taming of Shrew, starring late Heath Ledger and a seemingly prepubescent Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Julia Stiles in all their cuteness and charm. If you haven't read Taming of Shrew and you have a school assignment then this movie can be a very entertaining summary. Number 6. Crazy Stupid Love Starring Kevin Bacon, Marissa Tomei, Emma Stone, Juliana Moore, Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell is an age-old tale about a man being cuckolded only for him to be glammed up by an extremely attractive Ryan Gosling and realize at the end that the love of his life will always be his cheating wife. Cheating but attractive wife. Anyways, the cast itself should be enough for you to check it out. On top of that, Steve and Ryan sharing screen but primarily Emma and Ryan sharing screen is simply eye-pleasing. Number 5. Annie Hall Starring controversial actress slash director Woody Allen and always charming Diane Keaton is a story about analysis into the curious case of breakup with Annie Hall by the comedian Elvis Singer, played perfectly by Woody Allen. The movie is deep dive into the psychological analysis of the character played by Woody Allen and discovering why his relationship with Annie ended the way it did. At the end of it, the movie is a tale of how as human we are, for the most part hardware to fall in love and out of it, with no one at fault and doomed to repeat the whole cycle but through the perspective of a comedian. So enjoy. Number 4. Punch Drunk Love One of the few instances in Adam Sandler's career, Punch Drunk Love starring Adam Sandler, Emily Watson and the late great Philip Seymour Hoffman is a tale about how Paul Thomas Anderson forced Adam Sandler into giving a good performance. The story is about Barry suffering from social anxiety and fits of rage fueled by constant abuse and ridicule, falling in love with Lena after a quotation marks meet cute moment. Enjoy as Adam Sandler gives you a glance at what could have been. Number 3. As Good As It Gets 
Here's a bit of good advice. If it says starring Jack Nicholson, then you should always, I mean, always go for it. This movie might be one of those which you might not have heard of it, unlike the others in Jack Nicholson's filmography. And you might not have known the fact that the movie won both Best Actor and Best Actress Award. And yeah, the movie is about an OCD afflicted misanthropic romance novelist learning to grow emotionally as he falls for Helen Hunt's character and helps Greg's character through a tragedy. The classic tropes. Anyways, you get to enjoy Jack Nicholson as much as you can, so go for it. Number 2. Jerry Maguire If you utter the word romantic comedy, then the movie at the tip of everyone's tongue would be Harry Met Sally and Jerry Maguire starring Tom Cruise in his ever so Tom Cruise avatar. Always Bridget Jones, Renee Zellweger and one of the most adorable kid on screen ever, Jonathan Lipnicki, as well as Cuba Gooding Jr. The movie is about a 35 year old sports agent at the height of his career who gets struck down, begins grasping at straws leading him to Dorothy played by Renee Zellweger and Rod played by Cuba Gooding Jr. and Dorothy's son Ray played by Jonathan Lipnicki. Number 1. Love Actually Finally, Love Actually, a Christmas rom-com with cast full of your favorite actors including always so adorable Colin Firth, Bill Nye, Liam Neeson, late great Alan Rickman, Hugh Grant, Kira Knightley and lots more. It for me is the epitome of holiday rom-com and the most rewatchable rom-com with movie excelling at every tropes of rom-com, exploring different facets of love through numerous intellect stories and very interesting characters. So that's it for today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and a sub to the channel would be simply brilliant. And again, sorry for the delay. See you in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself and ta-ta.